Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today because we now are in party season, party season is in full force, I thought I'd give you some fragrances that I think I will be choosing for going out to parties over this festive period. So I've only got a couple of official kind of Christmas party type things to go to but no doubt I will be visiting friends or popping out to the pub and uh, at the same time these are those fragrances that I will be going for all while it's all a bit Christmassy so let's get on with it I think we're gonna start with the first one that landed in my hand and that is this it is Serge Luton's is it called Fils de Joie yeah Fils to sure look at this dark juice I mean even the juice color makes you think of Christmas don't you think so it's a jasmine perfume it's resinous deep rich gothic spicy to me it smells like there's rose as well that's not listed it's very thick and sticky kind of jasmine scent so it is for me very Christmassy in feel it's quite loud but not a beast as such and when it dries down it's not like a mega mega projecting fragrance but it is very very rich the juice color is i'll uh, spray some on my skin and show you i don't know if it'll actually come out i don't think that's going to come out actually on camera but you can just see a tin on the skin so not one to get on your clothes but very rich and festive feeling. So for me, perfect for the Christmas party season. And the next one, I actually have some matching products to go with it. I do think when it comes to special occasions, it's always nice to make a little bit more effort, layer up with some matching products if you can. If not, layer up with things that, that will kind of go with it. And for this one, I do have some matching products. So it is... Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum Intense and this is a, a sort of deeper, richer, stickier yet less projecting version of the original Coco Mademoiselle. Coco Mademoiselle is a fruity, slightly patchouli floral scent. I think most people know this one now. It's it's got a freshness, it's got almost like a sparkling champagne top, but it does have some richer base notes. So it goes a little sweeter and a little deeper than the original Coco Mademoiselle. And I won't dwell on it too much because I think everyone knows how Coco Mad smells. I'll just show you the matching products that I have. This is the oil. It's actually in a plastic bottle, but you, you just can't really tell by looking at the bottle, I don't think. And uh, this is the original, um, so it's not an intense. It's not to match the intense. It's, it matches the original EDP. And, yeah, it, smell, it just smells slightly fresher, but obviously it's an oil, so it's not quite going to project off of your skin like the perfume does. But when you layer everything up, then you just get this full bodied and this full on aura of the Coco Mademoiselle scent. So I will be using the oil as well as the body lotion. Again, smells of the original Coco Mademoiselle and it's a white, creamy, fairly moisturizing, rich-ish I'll show you that so you can see it's not really runny it's, it's quite a thick body lotion and rub that in oh, it's so nice it's so nice and then also i won't use this all over because it's a bit crazy it's the sparkling what's it actually called pearly body gel it's actually kind of an alcoholic base when you um, so when you open it up, the lid's very open, which I don't think is great because you're going to use too much. I think they should have put something in the top to stop you from spilling loads. But let's show you it on my hand now. So it's more runny than the lotion. And 
and then and when you first put it on your skin it's definitely got a lot of alcohol in the formula you can feel it you can feel on your skin that coldness as the alcohol sort of evaporates you know how you get that coldness on your skin and then you just get a very light sheen it's actually not too sparkly i'm not even sure any sparkles coming off on camera so it's a nice one to have i mean i can see it in real life for sure it's a nice one to have on your de decolletage or if you wanted to put it down your shins if you've got bare legs to give you that almost like a highlight on your shin which is beautiful so i think layering up all of that together just feels really christmasy and really special and festive now another one that to me is a really great one for parties especially in this cold weather is alien essence absolute of course it is discontinued but it can still be found if you are patient and if you look hard enough and you don't have to massively blow the budget, but you do need a bit of patience. And as you know, as things go on in life, the longer something's been discontinued for, the harder it is to find and the more expensive it becomes. That is a rule of life. <laughs> it's, uh, it's that scarcity thing where something was mega cheap once when it was easily available and the more it's scarce, then the more the, the value goes up. And that's just life. Alien Essence Absolute is a little bit like the original Alien, but with a really deep, rich, almost gourmandy, woody, vanilla kind of thing mixing in there. Very strong, very long lasting, very, I think quite flirty, so perfect for a party. So that one is Alien Essence Absolute. I thought we would go with a sexy floral. So this one is Swan Maiden from Ikirio. And this one is a mixture of florals, including Stefan, I think it's called Stephanotis, which is a variation of Jasmine. It has a real note of, I think it's Castorium. I believe it's Castorium in here. So it has this sexy and almost aquatic feel but it's not aquatic like cool water or isimiyaki or anything like that just gives you that feeling a little bit of being by water but i wouldn't say by the sea more of a, a pond or a lake or something like that it's really pretty there's a little bit of sweetness to it but it's more about the floral and the animalic i think very sexy very long lasting and therefore perfect for a party so that one is swan maiden and uh, then another one, another animalic floral. Well, it's a floral incense. It's called Nui by Tione Reinfeld. This one has some lotus in it. I forget which color lotus, so I don't want to get it wrong. But I know there's some lotus in here which lends it this sort of, oh, I don't want to say fecal, but definitely quite a dirty animalic note. And I believe that it must be an indolic note. But then you have the most amazing blend of sort of resin incense type thing, slightly woody, slightly powdery, a magnolia. It's basically a magnolia incense with a dirty edge. The dirtiness doesn't hang around for too long. So if that bothers you, I'd say it's gone within half an hour or certainly it's calmed right down. But for me, it's really sexy, it's unusual, it's gonna get your attention. Not everyone's gonna love this one, but I do think that it's great for parties. It does have that sort of, it has a Christmassy feel, I guess, because it is quite incense-y and it just kind of makes you, it takes you to places of worship, really. But it's also sexy, so it's, it's a bit of a paradox, but I love it and I think it's great for parties, so. That's Nui. Now, this fragrance was kind of inspired by a party, actually, uh, a very hush-hush party. So it is hush-hush. I've gone for the Eau de Parfum. It's my, my, mine's a bit, mine's been in handbags and tossed about a little bit. So this is the smallest version. I think it's the 15 mil. 
and yeah this is the EDP of Hush Hush which is a collaboration between me and Sarah McCartney from 4160 Tuesdays and it was inspired by a 1920s secret party it worked back when things everything was naughty and uh, ladies started to rebel a little bit so there's uh, a note of a uh, cigarette but it's very papery it's not like an ashtray smell there is a tiny bit of tobacco there's some vanilla not too much it's not particularly sweet there's a uh, warm skin iris and violet I find it goes a little minty I think that is coming from one of the, I think there's a resin or I've made, I'm not sure Sarah put a papin a papinax in here I'm not sure, but I get a little mintiness right at the beginning, which is lovely, and it makes me think of menthol cigarettes. But overall, it's it's smooth, it's smooth, musky, papery, irisy, violet. There is another floral in here. I don't, I don't find it comes out too floral. It's just this perfect mix. It's it's one of those. It's more than your skin, but better. But it is along those lines and just gives a really unique aura and as I say it was inspired by a 1920s secret party so I had to include it so that is Hush Hush and then my final one and this is my most recent addition to my collection and it's actually my Christmas present from my mummy which I just couldn't bear to wrap up and put under the tree because I just want to keep wearing it so it is Le Maroc Pour Elle from Tower Perfumes, Andy Tower of course the owner and creator and this is the very first one in his line of fragrances it's rose and jasmine there's a little bit of lavender but there's a really lovely sticky woodsy resinous base it smells like labdanum to me it's not listed as labdanum but it smells like labdanum because it's got that sticky richness so it's quite balmy, resin, smooth, sticky, sweet, without being really, really sweet, without being specifically vanilla sweet, just more incensey, rich incensey sweet resin, but this gorgeous mixture of rose and jasmine hangs around the whole time. The lavender just adds like a peppery herbal touch to the beginning of the perfume but the main part of the perfume is the rose and the jasmine and the sticky, woody, sweet resins and this just general incense feel which I adore. It is absolutely stunning. It smells really strong when you first spray it. It's quite almost mind-blowing but it does really calm down. It's not actually a beast. It lasts really well on the skin but it doesn't massively project what I find though is because it is quite strong that the sillage is where the fragrance is at. So if you're standing still, you might not smell it past that far from your body. However, the second you move around, the, f the fragrance is everywhere. So it is wonderful. It's perfect for a party. It's so festive. It's spicy as well. So I think that really lends it to Christmas time. And yeah, it's an, it's an amazing perfume and I'm so happy to have it. I did have it years and years ago before it was reformulated. And in the end, I did part with it because I think it was too much of a commitment. It was such a strong, long lasting fragrance. Now it's been reformulated. I, I think it's now perfect, whereas it was almost too strong last time. So very, very pleased to have Le Maroc Pour Elle. And that is the final one in this little collection of fragrances. Let me know what you like to wear for the holiday parties. I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe. It really does make me, it inflates my ego and I need that. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye.